Hi fellow traders. In this video, I'm going to share with you my trade on BRX. I traded it twice today. Um, once um, near the open and, you know, once after lunch. Um, really had no intentions of trading today. Had all kind of trouble with the internet. Really today was the worst day since I've been on Christmas vacation as far as the internet. It's all Wi-Fi. Don't have any hardwired cables up here, but you know, really had no intentions of trading. I had two tickers that were on my scan uh, for me to vet. It was VRX and then Fit. Fit didn't have any interest in. I don't really like trading it. Um, VRX. I, when I started looking at it. Uh, it, I became interested in it. Um, you know, I had the sell off and I drew this line here because uh, 106 was a level that held during pre market. Uh, I know you got some wicks that dipped a little bit below it, but 106 is a level, it's psychological level, but you know, it held and I felt that it would play a big part in. Um, you know any trades today you know for that day so I looked at this and then you know when I started looking at I think I got in around here and I saw how it claimed VWAP and that's when I said you know I was kind of interested in VRX it might you know coax me into trading it so looking at this I was thinking long I was thinking at open this is probably gonna sell off a little bit bounce off the VWAP I can take the trade off the VWAP on up to the upper deviation band you know I felt that was you know between 108 and 110 I felt I could get 150 to you know a two dollar gain per share on this but then you look over here at the 60 minute and this is telling me short. So, you know, I had a dilemma here, but th that's why I always wait for the first five minutes at least. Um, sometimes 10, sometimes 15, just depends on the ticker. But I want it to tell me which direction it's going to go, which setup, you know, am I going to be able to trade? Am I going to be able to trade it long off the VWAP or is it going to be a short? Off the VWAP fade. Um, so, you know, as this opened up, got this crazy candle here, opened here, and then it quickly sold off. And this rain, I mean, this candle had a $2 range, quickly sold off, and then got bought right back up, closed up here, but then this candle opened below it. It tried to push up. And then got then sold back off. It tapped the nine, tapped the VWAP, but then it closed above the twenty. So now I'm thinking, well, what what is this ticket gonna do? Because you know I got this crazy candle here. This candle made a higher low. It tapped the nine. It couldn't you know push through it. Couldn't push through the twenty. You know. So what is this thing gonna do? Now, I'm thinking this is probably going to be a long, you know, a long trade. But I'm looking at the upper deviation band and it's trending down. This is telling me short. So I kind of waited, waited for the next candle to print. And, you know, this candle printed here and started to sell off. So I immediately went and looked at the two minute. I saw that this candle had closed below it, below the um, the nine and the VWAP. So I went ahead and took a position on this candle here, this two two minute candle that opened. And I said, I you know if it got back up over VWAP, I would get out. You know I'm not gonna hold this thing until I'm sure that this is gonna move. So I thought this was a pretty good place to trade it. 
Um, I'm, this is a VWAP fade, so VWAP's going to be my stop. And, you know, so I'll probably hold it till it closes above VWAP, or if it starts to run away from me, you know, I'll just get out of it. But it it didn't push VWAP, it faded. Um, so I was looking for this level here, 60, I mean 106. And I felt if 106, if it hits 106, it's going to bounce. So I had an order in, and I was ready to take it. 106, I got filled, I was out. This thing bounced, went up to 107, felt pretty good about my decision. Then it slammed right back down. Kind of held along 106 like I anticipated it would, but then it lost it. When it lost, when it lost 106, that was another great place to to um to short it. I'd have been shorting it off this based on this pre-market low that finally cracked. You know 106. Um, here I had 105.24 was resistance here and I had another one down here at 104.26 so I had nice windows so even if it bounced off of here I had a decent profit I already had this so this would have given me a decent one if it come down and hit this you know that was even better but below that one there was 102 but did not the, the problem is I didn't have a plan after this. Um, I let all of these things get in my head. You know, the Internet and, you know, I didn't I didn't trade with enough size to be able to take some off here and then hold it to see what happens. This was just the end of the trade in my mind right here. And did not have another contingency plan or whatever. Yeah, I made decent profit you know made over my daily goal but did not try I left way too much on the table for me to be happy with that and what I should have done was just paid attention kept my head in the game would have shorted this um, you know could have taken it all off or could have took some profit you know use this as a guide and Look for the move down to 102. And that would have been the, the perfect plan. But this is all in hindsight. You know, I didn't really see it coming. But if you're locked in and you're focused like a trader should be, you know, I, I shouldn't have missed this move. So what I did um, after this, I kind of switched gears. I started looking for it to reverse. Started looking for another point, a point and a half for a trade back to the VWAP. And I was going to load up on this because I realized um, what I posted in chat this morning, the quote, should have taught me a lesson. And it didn't. You know, this is pretty much says don't let what's happening around you get inside and weigh you down and sink you. And that's pretty much what I did. I let what was going on around me sink me and didn't really trade well. So now in my mind, I'm looking at this 102 to base my trade off of for a run back to the VWAP. You know, this is a nice, you know, two point move. So in my mind, I kept thinking, okay, when this thing gets down here and it tests 102, go ahead and take a position at 102, risking, you know, 20, 25 cents, and then add over the moving averages. If it gets there for a move up to um, VWAP. And I planned on probably taking profit around 104, which would, you know, would have been nice. And I was loaded for bear. Well, I didn't do that. I waited. And once this closed over the nine, 
I switched over here to the two minute and started looking for an entry. So let me get it down here. All right, so all this was consolidation, all of that. You made some lower lows, but it kind of stayed within this one little channel. And what I like to see really, ideally, I like to see these candles trading above the nine, the 20 coming in to squeeze it, and it's squeezing it against a whole number or a level of support. And this was still below the 20, the nine. It never could get above it. So I just convinced myself that, you know, taking the trade off one or two wasn't it. Just wait. Once this thing got over the VWAP and the moving averages, you know, look for an entry on the two minute above it and then manage the trade from there. And that's what I did. I got in, I think, on this. This two minute candle. Yeah, one oh I got in at one oh two sixty one and didn't manage to trade well at all. Yeah, I made money, but I did not manage this trade at all. I think I covered the three covers I had were between or uh, I had one cover at thirteen, I mean at one oh three. And then the other ones were between 103.33, 103.35. Just nothing. And this ticker ran up. As you can see, this ticker ran up and had a high of 103.80. But just did not, I just wasn't 100% focused into the trade. Um, I start. I was looking at different things. I let things kind of affect me. I think I had to restart the computer again somewhere in here, and it just really took me out of my game. So I know that's something that I that I have to practice and I have to work on is trying to keep other distractions, other things from affecting my trade. So I left about fifty cents on the on the. Uh, on the table here on on this trade because I just didn't manage it well um, and I did look at this you know I thought about a scalp here under the moving under the 20 and you know I kind of called it out but I didn't take the trade uh, I know maybe a couple people took it that I know of and you know they made some a pretty decent profit that was a nice scalp but eventually, you know, it did dip down below 102, but 102 pretty much held throughout the rest of the day. Um, but this is one ticker that I probably could have made $2,500 to $3,500 on had I traded it properly and had I, you know, kept my head in the game. Um, but that's one lesson that I learned. Hopefully, you know, I'm sharing it with you. Um, a lot of these quotes that I put in in chat are quotes that I've used that I've you know put up, but evidently I don't follow them all because I sure didn't follow this one, and I will be working on it. Um, and I like doing these because when I look at the trades, I see my mistakes. I share them with you and. Hopefully you can avoid the same mistakes that I make. But that's all I have for uh, right now. Looking for a solid day tomorrow. Uh, I'll be back in my element. So I'll have good internet. And should be able to uh, focus on my trades a little bit better. But I hope everybody has a great night. And see everybody tomorrow. Um, bright and early in chat.